That delegate Kim Teehee could not vote on legislation, but could vote in committee and introduce legislation. For far too long uh, in our nation's history, the federal government accumulated a sorry record of making promises to tribes and then breaking those promises as soon as it was expedient to do so. That promise for a Cherokee delegate dates back to the Treaty of New Echota signed in 1835. It was followed by the Trail of Tears, which brought the Cherokees to Oklahoma. The government of the United States made certain promises. One of those promises was that it is, quote, stipulated that the Cherokee Nation shall be entitled to a delegate in the House of Representatives. Cherokee Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. argued before the House Rules Committee Wednesday morning that the tribe's treaty was the most explicit when it came to representation. Some members of that committee showed concerns Cherokee citizens would get double representation if that delegate were seated. Other delegates represent areas like Puerto Rico or D.C., which don't also have representatives like Oklahoma does. Hoskins says a delegate shouldn't be viewed as a full representative. In the case of Kim Teehee, a delegate, she would not vote on final passage. So in that respect, there would not be double representation for a single Oklahoma. Members of the House Rules Committee made it clear today it was not about voting on the topic, rather just a chance to talk about possible concerns surrounding seating that delegate. Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr., though, says he wanted to have that delegate seated by the end of the calendar year.